wealth measures how much money your money is making and, therefore, your financial survivability. Financial literacy is the ability to read and understand financial statements which allows you to identify the strengths and weaknesses of any business. You should understand the difference between an asset and a liability. When I want a bigger house, I first buy assets that will generate the cash flow to pay for the house. The main reason that over 90% of the American public struggles financially is because they play not to lose. They don't play to win. The more emotionally attached he got to his job and to a paycheck to pay the bills, the more he encouraged his kids to get a safe, secure job. You really wanted to win, but the fear of losing was greater than the excitement of winning. Failure defeats losers, failure inspires winners. To work hard for money, thinking that it will buy you things that will make you happy is also cruel. To wake up in the middle of the night terrified about paying bills is a horrible way to live. To live a life dictated by the size of a paycheck is not really living a life. Thinking that a job makes you secure is lying to yourself. That's cruel, and that's the trap I want you to avoid. I've seen how money runs people's lives. Don't let that happen to you. Please don't let money run your life. To me, one of the primary reasons E's and S's have difficulty moving to the B and I side is because they are too afraid of making mistakes. Let's go back to Buckminster Fuller's definition. Using his definition, how many days forward can I survive? Assuming a 30-day month, I have enough cash flow for half a month. When I achieve $2,000 a month cash flow from my assets, then I will be wealthy. So while I'm not yet rich, I am wealthy. I now have income generated from assets each month that fully cover my monthly expenses. If I want to increase my expenses, I first must increase my cash flow to maintain this level of wealth. Once a dollar goes into it, never let it come out. Think of it this way, once a dollar goes into your asset column, it becomes your employee. The best thing about money is that it works 24 hours a day and can work for generations. I find so many people struggling today, often working harder, simply because they cling to old ideas. They want things to be the way they were, and they resist change. My rich dad was different. He made more and more money but paid less in taxes. He also had bankers and accountants, but he wasn't getting the same advice my highly educated dad was getting. Social Security, a social welfare or social insurance program commonly funded through automatic payroll deductions to subsidize persons in their old age and with disabilities. Buffett himself says, diversification is protection against ignorance. It makes very little sense for those who know what they're doing. It seems that our paths in life are not found in our minds. Our path in life is to find out what is in our hearts. I've met so many people who say, oh, I'm not interested in money. Yet they'll work at a job for eight hours a day. That's a denial of truth. If they weren't interested in money, then why are they working? That kind of thinking is probably more psychotic than a person who hoards money. Businesses that do not require my presence I own them, but they are managed or run by other people. If I have to work there, it's not a business. It becomes my job. Stocks bonds income generating real estate notes, EAS, 
royalties from intellectual property such as music, scripts, and patents anything else that has value, produces income or appreciates, and has a ready market. Said, most people are in financial trouble today simply because they've taken too many shortcuts and are making their life's financial decisions based upon opinions, often the opinions of an E or an S, and not the facts.